Hello, yes, why Liverpool is ripe for British nationalism. That's right. In fact, I'd go further than that and I'd say the whole of Merseyside is ripe for British nationalism. But I'll get back to that in a minute. I've left a link below to an article I featured in the Liverpool Echo regarding various ethnic groups that have set up shop in the Lawrence Road, Smithdown Road area of Wavertree. Wavertree is the constituency of Labour MP Luciana Berger, as is Kensington. The article talks about a, a multiracial, multicultural utopia and how everyone's getting on fine. Well, that's not exactly what's happening. In fact, the article's fair in that it mentions some dissenting voices from locals that have lived in the um, Lawrence Road, Smithdown Road area of Wavertree all their lives, 60, 70 years. And it mentions that they're not happy. They, the change is too quick. They can see their community changing. They don't like it. In fact, they can see it being taken away from them because the ethnic groups that have settled there, some have set up shop and open businesses, um, Romanian, African, Asian, there's uh, Bangladeshi, there's literally all types that have set up shop there. And those ethnic groups are not adopting the British culture and the British way of life. They're imposing theirs on that small uh, little area of Lawrence Road, Smithdown Road in the Wavertree uh, constituency of Luciana Berger. Uh, so the people, the locals uh, in that uh, part of Wavertree, they can see the change happening so quick. They're being displaced and they know they are. They know they are. So I hear the dissent you see around the city because I have my ear to the ground and I know what's going on and I know people are not happy. Kensington, which is a mile or two from uh, Wavertree, from Lawrence Road, Smithdown Road, the same is happening there, right? Not it. The Lawrence Road, Smithdown Road area is, is in a real, um, that's in a real state. Trust me, it is. That's, that's in a bad state. It's, it's an appalling place. It's worse than um, some parts of Kensington. I don't say that disrespectfully to the people of Wavertree or Kensington. State a fact, it really is. It's, it's appalling. That small area of Lawrence Road, Smithdown Road, it's balkanising already. You see, the HMS Windrush immigrants of the 50s, late 40s, 50s, they were Afro-Caribbean. Others that came from the Indian subcontinent were Asians. What's happening now? There's that many different ethnic groups, dozens of them, all being thrown together. And it's balkanising wherever that is. And Lawrence Road, Smithdown Road is just one such hit area here in Liverpool. So I can hear the dissent and people do talk to me, people do text me, people send me messages as to what they've just seen in uh, Wavertree or what they've just seen in Kensington and they don't like it. People I know that live in those parts of Liverpool, they're appalled, they're shocked, they're frightened. Unlike some of the residents have said in the article in the Echo is that they can see it changing where it's not their place anymore and it won't be. And also, what's under threat as well is not just the British culture and the British way of life, but our unique scousness that's now being replaced by alien cultures, alien languages and alien ways. It's being replaced. So I make this video as a plea to veteran nationalists here in Liverpool and other nationalists that helped me in the early mid 2000s with the BNP to get in touch. We've got a lot of work here in Liverpool to do, but there's going to be big dividends. And trust me. Right, we've got to get a little branch organised. Doesn't have to be a political party, independent activist, whatever. Get in touch, right, because our unique scouseness as well as our British way of life is under threat. Those in Liverpool, you want to drive round the Lawrence Road, Smithdown Road area, as well as Shield Road in Kensington, be my guest and you'll see the change happening. Also, other areas of Liverpool are now seeing what's happening in the aforementioned areas and they don't like it and that's why these places are ripe for British nationalism. Get in touch, come on. Okay, thank you.